transformations this is your head butterfly in transformation just like you welcome to the channel welcome to the channel welcome to the channel everyone we are using the enchantment tarot the everyday enchantment tarot we're going to get you some daily healing inspiration today and what we are going to do you all is we're going we're going to do something a little bit different today we are going to pull the nine card block and then we're going to clarify if i can find we want i want to clarify penny this is the pamphlet for the vision board hopefully you've gotten yours by the time you see this video but what i want to do is really is i want to uh Wow, I, I don't think, well, I see the book, but I didn't think that the cards were in here. But let me let me check anyway, because there's a lot of little things that they send in this package. I hope that this video finds you peaceful, productive, and prospering. I want to give shout outs to all of you beautiful, 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 extraordinarily gorgeous people here on the Butterfly Transformations channel because you know you are a butterfly. Here they go. Now, I may need to use the book with these, but I feel like I want to do something um, intuitive, okay? So, spirit, y'all here intuitive. So, make sure you give me messages that I can work with, clear and concise messages for these beautiful butterflies today that are in transformation just like me. I hope that you are feeling peaceful, productive, prosperous. I hope that you are in a space right now in your life where you have some clarity. And if you don't, you are setting the intention to get that clarity. I hope that you are trusting the process of life. I hope that you are being patient with the process of life. Life is always unfolding in the direction of your growth. I hope that's not a crack in my screen. No, it's not. Life is always unfolding for your betterment and it's always unfolding in the direction of greater expansion even when it hurts even when it feels painful and even when you're resisting it's going to take you with it no matter what so it's like you always hear me say you're going to go up the hill so either you're going to pull the load or you're going to push the load i'd rather pull it up the hill rather than push it up the hill because you got to go up there so say any and everything that is going on in your life right now is something that is supposed to be exactly as it is. Exactly. That was the thumbnail at three minutes. <laughs> Seriously though, we're going to do a nine card block. All right, y'all. Spirit. And we're going to read these messages however they come out. And we want these cards to line up because we're going to take the nine cards right off the top as we shuffle. Whatever hardships you all are dealing with, whatever difficulties or whatever things have you hanging on that tree like the hangman, y'all. This is looking crazy now. I scoot it back. Y'all can see this. Let me do this like this so it don't look so crazy. If you're wondering why the red and the blue is because... I wanted some color contrast. <laughs> I was upstairs relaxing, watching Chicago Fire, y'all. And I was like, I got to do a video. I got to do a video. I just, there's a message. So I got up. I threw this t-shirt on. I was laying up with this on from earlier today. Y'all know I don't play. When I get up now, when I go, I go to the party every day. And I said, okay. Touch up the lipstick and let's get on downstairs. So I threw this blue shirt on over top of what I had on. <laughs> and here I am. So this is a general message to whoever watches the message. 
Maybe there's something you can get out of this message. Whatever comes to mind, whatever I'm feeling, whatever's coming through me, that's what we're going with, okay? That was the last shuffle. This is the cut. One, two, three. The world, the Ace of Wands, the Six of Cups. Beginning a new cycle. Something is getting fired up in your life, but you may still be thinking about the past or feeling connected to something else. Second row, three of swords, the two of blades, three of wands reversed. Some of you may be experiencing some sort of disappointment around the situation that has put you in a place where you have to make a decision and it's causing you to doubt whether or not maybe you can move forward or it's causing you to feel as though maybe something you were expecting may not necessarily pan out. The moon, the king of wands, and the six of wands. It's going to work out. And you know how it's going to work out? Because you have a vision. You're going to hold to the vision and you're going to be victorious. And whatever's coming, it's going to come in a way that you can't even really see. So just hold tight. All right? There is something that's coming in that's going to put a smile on your face here with the knight of cups. This is something that is going to help ease whatever the disappointment is that you may have felt yourself dwelling on or whatever the, the contrast is. You see this here? This is the Knight of Cups. This is some sort of happiness energy. It's something that you resonate with. It's, it's something that allows you to open your heart up and put a smile on your face. After a time of difficulty, mourning, and a period where you just may be stuck and not necessarily feeling very hopeful about a situation, but trying to hang on and trying to focus on the future, but having difficulty doing that. In fact, you're still kind of in a, in a space where maybe you can't see the possibilities that are coming. All right. So give me a few moments to study these cards. You may be blocking something with that two of swords sitting right in the middle. Okay, this is you. Maybe hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. You don't want to hear it. You're blocked towards something. You don't want to see it. You have a final notice paper here. Maybe some of you have been served with something or maybe you're dealing with something, but you're not really trying to see something coming to an end. You could probably, it's because it's a painful situation, all right? It's not something that is pleasant. And it may mean that whatever you thought was moving forward or was was for you is now going in a different direction or something is not panning out here with the three of wands reversed okay which is you know the three of wands is about things coming to fruition uh the blessings beginning to come in as a result of some decision that you made well that isn't happening or something has taken a turn or gone in a different direction and although you really are being led towards something else that's going to be a good thing in your life. It's going to grow you. It's going to ex expand you. And it's also going to teach you the value of keeping the faith because you're still going to come out on top. Ooh, I don't know why that snake is getting me. Yeah, the snake is getting me. <gasps> but whatever this situation is that's coming to an end, it's because you're about grown something. You've outgrown something and it's time for you to get new skins, new wine skins, new skins, okay? And everything is going to be all right. So with this world card up here at the top, it is time for you to cross another milestone. It is time for you to move to another level and there is something for you on the other side so no matter what you do although you may reflect on the past and bemoan what may uh ha have happened to get you to this point don't get stuck in the nostalgia of the past this new situation is going to be a match for you you have the king of wands and the six of wands in reality it's going to bring you all of the things that you actually want and i really feel that way okay ending on very powerful energy here you really 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 are i 
think whatever this disappointment is, maybe you didn't see it coming. Let's, let's put these cards over top. Let's clarify, okay? Clarify the world. Clarify the world. We have egotism clarifying the world. Ace of Wands, we have <laughs> flirtation. Uh, Six of Cups. Clarify the Six of Cups. Okay, um, it's possible that for some of you, a situation that um, we have enthusiasm reversed here along with that flirtation card, clarifying the Six of Cups. So I feel like something had to come to an end because intellectually you could not justify continuing to move forward with something, all right? Or something is becoming clear to you that you no longer resonate with. You've lost your enthusiasm for. And as such, some of you are really beginning to play with the idea of going down a new path, all right? It's not an easy situation uh, with the Three of Swords here. And perhaps you are being... Um, Perhaps you are being kind of pulled back and forth. You're not fully out of the woods yet with that seduction card clarifying the three of blades here, which is the three of swords. But I feel like you're not giving into it. Submission reverse. I feel like you're not giving into it. And whatever it is that you are releasing or whatever it is that's being released from your life, you're not going back to it. You're not going to allow that situation to, to derail you, as, as disappointing as it actually is. We have the revenge and the authority clarify, clarifying the three of wands. And these cards look like this, you all. Okay. For some of you, it could, this could have to do with the work situation. A situation could have been arrested, meaning it could have been put on pause, or it could have, could have, um, it could be either put on pause, or there's something that um, you've decided not up to allow it to impact you in a negative way. But literally, for some of you all, this has to do with a situation on the job that has happened, that has been very disappointing, that is closing out because someone maybe in that workplace um, is not a, a positive influence. This would be someone that would be a control freak or someone that needs to micromanage or have a lot of authority and someone who you feel maybe for some of you all want your head on a platter, literally, or they're very um, vindictive sort of energy here, but you've lost your desire to be in this particular situation, whether it's a job or whatever it may be. And some of you are feeling as though you're freeing yourself from something, literally freeing yourself from something. And you're not, you're not going back because you feel as though it's been one big disappointment and maybe you were misled or you were led on here with that seduction card, clarifying the three of swords. Criticism bluff. One more card there. Rebellion. Yeah, we have we have a lot of energy here around the mental, around Mercury energy, around uh, game playing. Game playing, mental games, mind games, uh, ego is involved. We have the egotism card. We have rebellion. We have criticism. We have revenge. We have authority. All of these are uh, around something that needs to close out or something that needs to end so that you can have a, a, another start. Something that didn't turn out the way you thought it was going to turn out where you might have felt as though finally, once and for all, I'm going to get what I deserve. My ships are coming in with the three of wands, but that hasn't been the case. Something has sideswiped that or something has 
has interfered with that. And I really feel as though there's been something that feels a sort of underhanded here in this situation. And you've lost some kind of passion for this. You're not, you're not, you're not being fooled anymore by this situation. And as difficult or as disappointing as it may be, you're not going to allow this situation to get the best of you. Why is this here? So what we're seeing here is a need for you to keep pushing forward, for you to not allow anything to get in your way, for you to keep your eyes on the vision, even though things could be, mm -hmm, even though we have the escape card and the protection card, clarifying the king of wands. All right. Now, you know, for some of you all, and this is, this is not going to resonate with everyone. I feel like this is what we're talking about is a situation here that's not healthy. A situation where there have been, there's been a lot of mind games, a lot of playing around, a lot of deceit, a lot of spitefulness. And some of you uh, are needing to allow something to close out as difficult as it may be. This was not the path that you were supposed to be on. Some of you are actually dealing with people that are spiteful, that are revengeful, that are very controlling. And you're actually needing to protect yourself from this situation and get out of this situation. But by those of you who are dealing with something in the work arena, just know that your uh, removal from this particular situation is actually something that's going to be uh, an aid to your life in some sort of way. And as long as you hold the vision and you hold the frequency. And what I mean by that is as difficult as this situation may be and as hidden as the motives may be, uh, as much as you may not really see that, see this as a blessing, know that you were in a dark situation here. All right. You were in a, in a situation that, uh, was going to be very disabling. And that it's best that you be out of this situation. Okay, this is the moon card. And that it's best that you be out of this situation because what's really waiting for you once you leave this situation is victory. Okay, your value is going to be appreciated someplace else. So with that king of wands is a visionary. This is someone who doesn't give up. This is someone who, who um, continues the journey uh, no matter how difficult it is, this is a person with big dreams, big lofty goals, and a vision that they can communicate and get the support of others for. This is a win-win here with that King of Wands and that Six of Wands here. So here you are at the beginning of dealing with a difficult situation involving a clash of, of belief systems or a clash of uh, something to do with a power dynamic or some sort of control. And here you are coming across the finish line at the end of the diagonal. This is the first card and this is the last card. So wherever you are in this continuum of knowing that it's time for you to um, create something new. It's, this is a blank canvas here on which to paint. This is the Ace of Wands. This is a new beginning. This is the opportunity to fire up something else that is a passion of yours. Although you could be feeling that way, you still are somehow lacking some level of enthusiasm because you are uh, in a space of worrying about or thinking about or lamenting what has happened in the past. But what you cannot see right now is that by pulling out of this situation and by being by not su submitting or surrendering to the injustice that has been done to you, that you're going to make out fine. You're going to do just fine. So this is a message of staying strong for whoever can resonate with this message. Staying strong, making sure that you continue to focus on what it is that you want to create and don't get caught up with the darkness or the energy around the, the because this feels like a betrayal. This feels like someone who um, you trusted. This feels like a situation that um, sought to control you, uh, play mind games of some sort and Maybe you were the, the victim of a lot of criticism, judgment, backbiting, gossip, difficulty, whatever it was here with the authority and revenge card reverse, and you made a decision, and you made a strategic decision. We have the six of wands clarified by the decision 
uh, and the quarrel card. And at the bottom of this is the power. This is you taking your power back. This situation or this disagreement or this uh, inability to have a meeting of the minds here with the quarrel and the egotism card. What this is saying to me is that whatever the decision was, whether you realize it or not, it was a strategic decision. And however it ends, it's going to end with you on top. So you are actually the winner, although the person who's crafted this, this game or who's crafted this almost like a trap for you, whoever it is that has spent time doing that, being deceitful, uh, plotting, being manipulative, being calculating, strategizing in a way against you, trying to control the situation, and almost really playing with your life, they are actually going to be the loser here, okay? Here we have you coming across the finish line as the victor. So hold on to this thought, whoever this message is for. Whatever difficulties you're dealing with, don't get caught up in the game playing here. Don't get caught up in the game playing. Don't worry about how the situation looks because that's not what is important. Trust that everything is going to work out exactly the way it's supposed to work out. I hope whoever this message is for, that this message makes sense to the person that this message is for and know that good news abounds and it is on its way. All right. I love you and I will see you again soon. <laughs> if you haven't purchased my book, Manifesting Your Masterpiece, make sure you get that book. You can get it on Amazon. If you're interested in burning oomsie, uh, to romanticize your life, to aromatize your life, um, to clear energy, to purify your life. You can go to the IamMelaninMagic.com website and try the various flavors. We have chai umti, we have orange umti, we have vanilla umti, we have ginger umti. Of course, we have the original umti flavor, which I suggest you try that first. But we also have the white sage umti, which is my best to me, that's my next best flavor next to the original. I love the white sage umsi. The flavored umsis, I suggest, are much better burned slowly, with the exception of the white sage, which you can do both ways, especially if you want to smoke out an environment. But the flavored umsis are just very light and they're subtle. And to burn them and let the fragrances slowly uh, saturate the atmosphere to me is the best way to enjoy those particular fragrances. You can burn them however you want, but those fla the flavor ones, I suggest that you do it that way. Sending out much love to you, much light to you, uh, hoping that you will keep your head up, all right, and keep your eye on the prize and not be distracted by what you see. Remember, the things that you see today are just a result of where your head was yesterday. The things that you will see tomorrow in your life will be the result of where your head is today. Discover the many ways Unti can enrich your life as an aromatherapeutic tool, a spiritual aid in your rituals, cleansing and purification as an aphrodisiac. So, so many ways that you can integrate this amazing aromatic fragrance rock into your life. Go to IamMelaninMagic.com.